5G data transfer networks work absolutely through the same radio waves as their predecessors, 3G, 4G and in addition, through them the work of TVs, radio, GPS and much more is built, so for some reason, fighters with a coronavirus do not burn TVs and radios. The reason is probably not only the novelty and mystery of technology, which, like everything new, is somewhat scary, and in its technical characteristics. 5G is the fifth generation data network, hence the name fifth generation, it is 20 times faster than 4G, allows you to connect a thousand more devices per meter than its predecessor, and has much greater bandwidth, which will avoid delays in signal transmission. But there are also disadvantages. 5G works at higher frequencies, if 4G has a range of 400 MHz to 6 GHz, then 5G has a range of 30 to 300 GHz. However, the higher the frequency, the shorter the wave. This means that different antennas and towers for its distribution will need much more than before. That is why 5G is now being created in small spaces, for larger scales, more equipment is needed, which is not yet available. Actually, at this stage the question arises of 5G networks. And the exact wording is how dangerous their radio frequency radiation is. However, such networks continue to lie in the range of radio waves, which represent only a small fraction of the total number of electromagnetic waves. Radiation emanating from radio waves, non-ionizing, and therefore does not harm cells and DNA. Unlike X-rays and ultraviolet radiation, for example, whose frequencies are much higher. Ofcom British non-governmental agency separately measured the level of harmful radiation from 5G towers, and it turned out that it was 66 times lower than the maximum permissible values. At the same time, rumors that 5G networks can be harmful are also not taken from scratch. Periodically, information on the consequences for the body in the form of headaches, eye damage, fatigue, and others appears on the internet. All of this is commonly mentioned in various studies. However, they too should not be completely trusted. In September 2019, Swedish scientists published a meta-work, which analyzed 94 studies on the effect of 5G Wi-Fi on the body. And it turned out that the only thing we can talk about with certainty is the temperature increase in those who are near the antenna for a long time. Everything else, damage to the eyes, cells, the appearance of tumors, if it was observed, it does not add up to any system. And moreover, the authors noted that the quality of the vast majority of works is so low that it is not worth taking the conclusions voiced in them seriously. At the same time, there is still very little sensible research, this is a fact.